Hey everyone, it's Wendy. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the process of buying your own domain and um, transferring it to um, get hosted. And in this case, I'm going to talk about hosting at Wealthy Affiliate because that's where I host mine. Um, and I would highly recommend that if you are I mean, obviously, if you're a member, I'd highly recommend that you use their hosting because it's really good, um, and it's included with your membership. You don't have to pay extra for it. Um, if you're not a member, if you're not a premium member, you don't have to host. I mean, you you can't host there if you're not a premium member, but um, if you don't want to host there, you don't have to. And, um, I'll talk a little bit about um, how to change your hosting to host where wherever you want to host your website <laughs> um, okay so the place that I'm at right now is called Namecheap uh, it's just namecheap.com it's an open marketplace that allows you to purchase domain names um, there's different ones you know there's GoDaddy, HostGator, one and one um, lots of others but those are like the big ones uh, I recommend Namecheap because they're just a good company and I don't have any problems with them. I've been using them for the past couple of years and um, they keep their prices really fixed. Like if you were to use uh, another site like GoDaddy, uh, you might be able to purchase a 99 cent domain for your first year, but then like you'll find in the second year it'll go up to like 20 bucks and the third year they'll tell you it's 30 bucks and uh, they'll just keep raising the prices on you. Uh, Namecheap they don't do that. They um they keep their prices relatively consistent if you buy a domain at about 10 bucks a year which is what what ideally you want um you'll can renew it for 10 bucks a year the next year and the next year and the next year so uh, it's good in that aspect and they also give you free privacy protection for your first year and they allow you to transfer your DNS when you purchase the domain which is what I'll be explaining to you um, so anyways you go to their um, page right here um, you just type in whatever you want your domain to be uh, it can be whatever you want I mean at this point you obviously um, <clears throat> know what your niche is going to be so you'll know you'll have an idea of what you want to call your site. I'd recommend uh, creating a list of what of different names so then when you go to um, search to see if it's available uh, you will have options because something might not be available <clears throat> or it might be um, on the open marketplace for you to <clears throat> I'm sorry, I mean, someone might own it and want to sell it to you for thousands of dollars and you don't really want that. <clears throat> so, it just still allows you to um, have the freedom of uh, exploring different options to see if, you know, if you make a whole list, then probably one of them is going to be available for you to use at the um, $10 price. So, I'm just going to... Uh, type in a website name. I don't know. I'm just going to type in a um, something I think will probably be available. I'm not going to buy this website or, or anything, but just for an example. Alright, so, um, this is what you want to see, um, you're looking at about 10 to 12 dollars a year, and that's, that's pretty normal, and, um, if it costs more than that, I would recommend not getting it, uh, like I was saying earlier, sometimes you'll, like, you'll <clears throat> search for a website, and it'll say, make an offer, or it'll say, um, seven thousand dollars and don't go buying something like that just um, if it says that just uh, keep searching until you find something that pops up and is available for you to buy the ten to 
the ten to twelve dollar price because um, it's oh, going to be a lot better for you. Um, first of all, it's a lot less, less expensive, and second of all, it's a new domain, so uh, you don't have to deal with or worry about any past uh, bad <clears throat> bad site behavior. Maybe the site was punished earlier for whatever black hat dealings or you don't know and maybe it won't get listed in Google or I don't know there's lots of stuff that could go on before you own the website and it's probably a better idea to just get start fresh with a brand new domain so anyway um, also I would also recommend that you um, buy the .com if you can at all possible because that is the strongest ranking powered domain there is and it's also, um, <clears throat> like, if you tell someone your website name, just like on the street, you know, oh, hey, this is my website, um, and you don't tell them .com, .org, .net, whatever, they're going to assume it's .com. I mean, at least I do. So, because if you're typing in a, a website, you're going to naturally type .com. So, this just ensures that you get the best exposure possible and also the best ranking power possible um if there's something you really want and it's a dot net or a dot org that's fine you can use that too but i just personally i always go for the dot com if um if the website i don't want or if the website name i want isn't available on a dot com i'll just tweak the name until it is because i like owning dot coms <clears throat> that's my personal preference. Um, so anyway, so yeah, you you um, just click this button right here um, to add it to your cart, and uh, let's see. You can choose to um, turn on. You can choose to buy it for as many years as you want. Um, I'd recommend just purchasing it, so purchasing it for the first for one year for your first year, just to um, just because you don't know. Like, if, I mean, if after the first year, if it's, everything goes good and you're successful and you think you're going to keep the website for a long time, then you can renew it for um, several years at a time. But for the first year, I would probably recommend just buying it for one year because you don't know if you're going to end up not you know, like not doing anything with the site and then you've paid for five years and you only use it for six months, so, you know. And they also um, include free WhoisGuard for the first year, which you'll have to pay um, within your second year, but this is another reason Namecheap is good because you get this completely free within your um, purchase too. And it's um, not even expensive, it's only $2.88 if you were to buy it, so, um, and in the second year, when you buy it, you'll only be paying two dollars and eighty-eight cents a year for that protection. And it just um, it keeps your phone number and your address and your name. And I don't know about your name, but it keeps stuff private so uh, hackers and spammers can't get hold of it and you know mess up your information and stuff like that. So um, and. This year, I'm not going to host it at Namecheap, so if you're not, if you're going to host it somewhere else, you don't have to worry about buying any sort of hosting plan or anything like that, so, um, that's it, that's all, really all you need to worry about is the actual domain, and then just buy the domain, and then you'll, um, after you buy it, uh, they'll allow you to transfer the hosting anywhere you want, and I'm going to show you how to do that here in a second. So, you know, just click confirm order, and then they'll take you through the buying process. I'm sure you can figure that out. I'm not going to buy this domain. I don't I don't have a domain to buy right now. Otherwise, I would um, be walking through that as I did it, but I'm just sort of explaining how it works. Um, so, after you buy the domain... Um, I'm not even signed in. I have to sign in. 
Hang on. So after you buy the domain, you're going to go and click this Manage Domains right here. And then um, you'll see a list of all the domains you have. So I'm just going to click one and then click Edit. And then over here on the side, I under general settings you're going to want to hit domain name server setup it's the second option over here and then right up here at the top it says change existing domain name server information so um, by default it'll be uh, use name cheap hosting DNS servers but I'm going to be transferring it so I'm going to click this option specify custom DNS servers and um, since I have since I want the website hosted at wealthy affiliate uh, for the first one you would type ns1.mywahosting.com and for the second one you would type ns2.mywahosting.com and that's it and you would um, save the options if you want to host it if there's somewhere else that you're hosting it um, this is where you would go to change the servers to whatever they are I mean you would get that information from your hosting company so uh, if you're hosting somewhere else I, I cannot I don't have that information but this is just where you would do it if you were to so this is for wealthy affiliate hosting so once you do that and save, uh, you're going to want to head over to Wealthy Affiliate and go over to where it says build my website and then create new website up here at the top. Um, this time if you, I've already explained how to do it on a free website so this is essentially the same exact process the only difference is you're just going to click this button that says on a domain I own and then you um, type in the domain that you just bought name your website click your theme um, build your website um, it's really easy you can four steps super simple um, just make sure that you're uh, doing it on the domain that you own and then um, after you build your website it'll take you to a page where you can immediately just log in to your site um, the thing is is uh, it might take up to a couple of days for the DNS to propagate over to the, the WA hosting so basically if it doesn't work right away don't worry because it takes time um, for the servers to transfer over Personally, I've never had it take more than about half an hour, maybe, tops. So um, it should probably happen within an hour or an hour or two. It should uh, change over and you should be able to access your website. But, um, you know, just know that it can take a couple of days. But that is the basic process of... Um, building your website with a domain that you own and it's that simple guys alright talk to you later bye